First 10 minutes into Crazy, eh? what do you think, mate? Absolutely love it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Welcome to my backyard here in Brisbane. It's Anzac Day 2019 here. Stoked to be out here today with Harry Hawkins from Simple Livers and his girlfriend Talia. Gonna try and knock their socks off with a bit of fish diversity today. We were a little late to the first spot because, well, I slept in. So I gave Harry the first drop. Let me be clear, it's not every day you get job fish and snapper swimming straight up to you. Yeah man, um, saw some blue bars spangled and then like towards the end of my breath I had two snapper like buzz in real close, like real um, quick at me and then turn away. Two snapper swimming straight up to you mid-water, that's the only invitation that I needed to get in. As you can see, it was insanely fishy here. I kept a close eye on the mangrove jacks hanging out near that cave. I knew they wouldn't be going anywhere soon. It was Harry's turn to dive, so I told him to get to the bottom, look through the sawtails to see if he can spot any other reef species. First 10 minutes into Crazy, eh? what do you think, mate? Absolutely loving it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Nice tusky to start the day. Happy Seen some that. snapper. Yeah, seen some snapper. My first drop, saw some snapper. Looks like an aquarium. I was just so excited. Didn't know what what to look at. Um, <laughs> then finally kind of sat on the bottom and got to relax. And this tusky came in. Took a nice shot straight through the middle. Happy with that. Beautiful fish. Very good to eat. Love it. Wow. Beach Sydney, doesn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. More fish than I've ever seen in Sydney in one dive. <laughs> I wasn't going to let Harry have all the fun. I went straight back down looking for those mangrove jacks. this quarter here. Dense shoals of sawtail surgeon fish like this are an absolute gold mine in southeast Queensland. With such a large biomass, I was fairly confident in being able to add something else to the esky. Unfortunately, I dropped right on top of this shoal of parrotfish and everything spooked. I was going to have to spend a little bit of time down here if I wanted the fish to come back into my presence. Down on that sand line, I can see a few large eye sea brim. These notoriously shy fish require a fair bit of coercing and skill to get them close enough for a shot. Mm. 
This is quite a long shot, but I also have a lot of faith in this gun. Nice fish. Right, maybe six kilos, mate. That's awesome. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, yeah. Completely stuffed all the fillet. <laughs> this is off its head. Oh. <laughs> Couple minutes into Queensland and we're on. Yeah, that is unreal. <laughs> so good. So far, pretty much knocked his socks off with just so many fish. He doesn't know what to look at, doesn't know what to shoot. But yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day. Bit rough out here, 10 to 15 knots. Just in the lee of a bit of reef here at the moment. They're just jumping in on a wreck. Hopefully we get some mackerel today. He's never shot a mackerel and a few other nice species. Pretty pumped to be back out here again. A bit sloppy out today. Harry's just giving us the wave. I think he's onto something. Looks like a parrot or a little spangled emperor or something like that that he lifted up. Go check it out. This here is the main reason I don't use a double wrap on my 120 reef gun. The fish get such a head start on the way to the reef and can bury you in the bottom really easily. Try this with a 10 kilo job fish and you are not going to have a good time. What do we have here, Mr. Hawkins? <laughs> Beautiful little parrot. Pretty happy though, because quite a big long shot, so. Oh, all right, mate. There you go nicely. Right, man. Oh, job done. Harry had never shot a Spanish mackerel before and it was the number one fish on his list for this trip. So I stuck him on a drift line in hopes that he would stumble across one of these barred speedsters. came in on me and I got muzzle wrap. Like I shot it and the spear didn't go all the way out. Shit. Oh. Sucks for Harry. No fish o'clock is fast approaching. Just after one o'clock here, fishing tends to be a little bit more difficult. So you try and look for some deeper spots. I hadn't dived this spot in over five years, but it was just as I remembered it. Front edge, a few saw tails, just behind that, that's where the fish sit. Stuck on the bottom. I saw the biggest bull shark I've ever seen on the way up. So I didn't see this shark on the way up, but I can now understand why my coronation trap got holed up. It was probably trying to avoid getting eaten. The plan now is to go up current, jump in together, Harry ride shotgun and try and fend off any potential sharks. Then I would dive down and get the fish out of the hole in one piece. Thankfully, I didn't have to dive the fish out. That is a big bull shark. <laughs> it is that. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, mate. Woo. Just fish. came out easy. <laughs> Definitely a bit sloppy out here though. Woo. Woo we were all pretty over the swell by now, so we decided to go have our lunch in the Lee of Flinders Reef, which is a green zone. This means no fishing, but it's an excellent spot to go free diving. 
After a quick lunch and a nice little free dive, we headed out of the green zone in search of a mackerel for Harry. Had an awesome day out here today. Not a heap of fish, but seen lots. Got some really tasty ones. Harry's hoping to bang a mackerel now in the late afternoon. But I think we're gonna be heading home pretty soon. We're all pretty spent. Been a pretty rough day out on the water. I'm fucked, let's go. That's pretty conclusive. Time to go home. Here we go. Oh my gosh. First day of dive in Queensland, how was it mate? So much fun, such a different experience. Um, just not knowing what to pick. Yeah, just completely different to Sydney, I guess. A most pleasant, enjoyable day out. It's come to an end, nice sunset, some nice fish, some quite nice company, <laughs> and got a good feed. Gonna good. Too throw good. the drone up, I think. So my drone suddenly decided it needed a software update and I couldn't get it into the air. Get a look at this, then go back home and do it all again tomorrow. Coronation trout are one of the most prized fish you can get off Brisbane, also known as a, a lunar tail or lyre tail trout. They have these beautiful yellow edges on the fish. Just a gorgeous fish and they're really, really good to eat as well. A gut shot wasn't too bad after all, haven't wasted too much of the meat. They look good and they taste good. This is where the big knife comes in pretty handy when you've got a big fat fillet like this. Take it all off in one go. You can sort of see this seam line down the middle of the fillet here. You can feel the rib bones, the pin bones, sorry. And they go down along that line. It's really easy to cut out. Just a quick run down one side. You can feel it with your knife. There. And there pop that out you can see that there's the pin bones in there you can't cut the knife through it that's all the pin bones little slither like that if you've got really small fish you can use pliers and peel them out but you don't really need to on this and that is a boneless tusk fish fillet poor man's back bag if you get these ziploc bags almost do them the entire way up little bucket of water that pushes all the air out and seals it a little bit nicer. So when you're packing your fillets up, it's a good chance to check for stray pin bones. But in the case of me filleting, as my granddad would always say, if you find any bones, they grew there afterwards. Get our fish wings, hot barbecue, You're just gonna put a bit of oil, salt and pepper on there. Give these a bit of a wipe down first with some paper towel to get rid of the fish slime. And then finish off on the grill. It is rather nice to be back having a barbecue. Don't get to do this much in London. Oh, look at the way that those wings are sizzling. Can't wait to eat these. Oh, see they're just falling apart in there. Oh, look at that. 
They are just sizzling through, falling apart. Oh. That looks sensational. And look at the, the way the uh, scale, oh, can't even get it off in one go. They look really good. A very overlooked part of the fish. Whew. Look at those things. There's actually so much meat down there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. And normally that gets thrown away. What would you do a thing like that? Give it a go next time if you've got a barbecue. Oh, don't miss it. Mm. Gonna polish off the rest of this. Mm. That'll be it. See you on the next video. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the